My name is Melantha Sumlin. Today I introduce to you a true servant of God, introducing Mr. Lindbergh Sadasi. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today with our lesson. Today our lesson is Adam's descendants in the Bible are referred to and call different names. The Bible called them the children of Eden. The reason why the Bible called them in the children of Eden because the first model, the first black man, the first intelligent homo sapien black man came down from heaven in Eden. And all his descendants are called children of Eden. Or another name, they are called sons of God. They have another name the Bible called them, the black Hebrew Israelites. That's their original name, the black Hebrew Israelites, but they were nicknamed by their white counterparts, they were nicknamed black Jews. It was the black descendants of Adam. We, we all suffer exploitation. We were robbed of our identity. We were robbed of our homeland. We were exiled from our homeland to go live to the lowest part of the bottom of the earth, that is Africa, where we lost our language, our Hebrew, Hebrew language. We lost the traditions and the lifestyle of Judah. Many of us became tribal settlers. We became tribal settlers. We lost where we came from. Many of us start speaking different languages, languages that that we learn to communicate. We lost our language, our own language, and eventually we were all scattered. We were shipped to the four corners of the earth. We were disadvantaged by slavery. We endure great tribulation. We endure great extreme poverty. But we survive and we still exist today. We survive, we are in every country on the planet. Black people are in every country. We speak other languages, but we survive. Today, today, we are not being called the children of Eden. We're, today, we are not called the sons of God or the black Hebrew Israelite. Today, they call us Negroes. They even refer to us to be niggers. Some of us, we call ourselves today African-American. But our original name is the children of Eden. We are the living obelisks of God. This is the appeal to black, to black people. Let's us stop calling each other dogs. We're no dogs. We're the living obelisks of God. An obelisk points you to where we came from. But this is not an obelisk of stone. It's a white counterpart, the Zionists, that used the Egyptian obelisk to mark the part, to mark X, where they came from. But we use this body that is God's temple, that has the DNA of God inside, that has the, the temple of God, that has the, the portion of God. This is the living obelisk. And we are the key sensor to search for in your search to the, creation, to the creator God. It is through us. Jesus said, you want to know about salvation? Salvation is of the Jews. Salvation, is, is, it says the Jews know about salvation. They know who they worship. Jesus was referring to the pillars, the pillars of Judaism, the pillars of it all. We are the one, if you want to, Seek God. Come through us. We will tell you about salvation because it began with us. It began with Adam who came down from heaven. We are the children of Jacob. We are the sons of God. We wore the portion of God on our skin, on our black skin, and the inheritance of God in our bodies, God's own DNA. We are the remnant, the preserved remnant of Israel that lives today. So black people, let us wake up. Let us wake up. 
Because we are rich. We are rich. We are the children of the most high God. And in these last days, the Bible says that the play field, the play field will return back into our hands. Our black heavenly father shall give, shall give us favor, favor in these last days. And we will once again be a mighty people, a people of great substance.